should I make an Anki card for everything? So I've been studying for about two years. I've mostly been doing free flow watching, and if I heard an I plus one word, I'd look it up. So if I heard a one T sentence, I'd look up the word. Uh, now I have a sentence mining workflow and use Anki. Uh, question, in sentence mining, should I make a card for every one target sentence? I don't know or like every other word I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they were saying there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I found it takes like 20 minutes longer for an episode uh, because I make so many cards. It takes me a long time to get through an episode because I make so many cards. Should I do that? Uh, in terms of the number of cards to create, set a target. Say, I'm going to try and average 10 cards per day. If, if, if you want to be learning 10 new words per day, set that target and make sure that you're doing 10 per day or you know on a weekly basis, 70 per week. Um, in terms of like mining everything, no. Uh, Clayton has this great quote, is like, don't be a rare bug collector. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're going around like trying to collect every single word that you find. Uh, a lot of the words that you run into are not gonna be useful around in other contexts. Uh, there are some times where, especially in TV shows, they'll make some obscure reference to something that some people know about. And, or they'll use some word that is just not useful in general uh, parlance. <laughs> um, Gotta make a card and, for that, hang on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, in general, you know, communication. And so it's important to be selective about the things that you actually want to learn. If you have 10 words per day, learn 10 words that actually seem like they'd be useful to you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, is it going to be useful to learn the name of the town of this, that's this show is set in? Probably not. No. Um, but, you know, I recently learned- Hang on, let me go delete my card for the word Tokyo. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, I recently made a word for like the word hay, like what horses eat. Um, because I was like, you know what? I could actually imagine myself using that at some point. Um, is it like the most useful card? Absolutely not. Like I'm probably not gonna say that very often, but when I'm going through this Wikipedia article uh, and I need, you know, I wanted to find 10 words in it. Hey, is actually like something that I might say, whereas like- um, Parlance. <laughs> parlance, probably not gonna say very often. Um, so, be selective with the words that you uh, choose to mine. Mine, set a target of how many you want to mine. Um, and don't worry about everything else. If it's actually useful, it'll come up again. If it's not, exactly. then you don't need to learn it. I so, like to be doubly picky, where I am picky about what I take, what I make a card for, and then I'm picky about what I keep in my Anki. If I come across a card and I don't really want it, I delete it right away. If it's within there, like I don't worry about it anymore. Um, and so it's like you get a, I get a double screen for good cards. Yeah, I, I would recommend liberally suspending Anki cards. You know, if you're going to make a lot of them, liberally suspend the ones that you realize someday you're like, eh, this one isn't actually that useful. Just delete it. Cool. Awesome. 